I, I find this just mind boggling. Over on Fox News, at the same time that they're doing, you know, live coverage of the Capitol assault and implying that it must be Antifa, you know, it's like, what's going on? Uh, Laura Ingram is texting Mark Meadows, Mark, the president needs to tell people at the Capitol to go home. This is hurting all of us. All of us? Oh, that's right. The Fox News hosts are advisors to Donald Trump, which is like, mind-boggling, you know, when you think about it. Brian Kilmeade, please get him on TV, destroying everything you have accomplished. In other words, Trump and his mob are destroying everything. This is Brian Kilmeade, right? This is the, the Fox and Friends guy. Sean Hannity, can, can he make a statement? Ask people to leave the Capitol? So here you've got Fox News hosts who have spent, what, a year now? trying to say, oh, you know, there was tourists, there was tourists, it was no big deal. Oh, and if anything bad happened, it was Antifa. Those same hosts are begging Mark Meadows to stop the president. And then you got Donald Trump Jr., for God's sake, saying he's got, he, tweeting to Mark Meadows, he's got to condemn this bleep ASAP. The Capitol Police tweet is not enough. Meadows replies, I'm pushing it hard, I agree. Trump Jr., we need an Oval Office address. He has to leave now. It's gone too far and gotten out of hand. Good Lord. Number one, I didn't know that uh, Donald Trump had it in him, and a uh, junior. And number two, why didn't he text this to his father? Why is he trying to go through Mark Meadows? But, you know, the grift, right? This is the key to the whole thing. The whole, the entire Republican Party, basically since Reagan, has been a grift. And I think you can put a lot of this at the feet of the U.S. Supreme Court, that, that in 1976 and 1978, in the Buckley decision and the Bellotti decision, said, if you want to, in the Buckley decision, if an individual billionaire wants to own an individual politician, that's fine. That's no longer considered bribery. It's no longer considered corruption. It's now called free speech. Money is speech. And then two years later in 78, in the Bellotti decision, which was authored by, written by Lewis Powell himself, the Supreme Court said, oh, and by the way, corporations are people too, and if they want to own politicians, that's fine also. And the GOP said, cool, we are for sale. Now, the Democrats were already in bed with the unions, which is fine with me, frankly. The unions represent working people. The Democrats were heavily supported by the unions. It was their major source of support back then. But the Republicans, they were like, oh, hey, now we can grift and grift and grift, and they haven't stopped in 40 years. The entire party is one giant grift. And now you got Mark Meadows out there trying to grift on this thing, um, you know, selling his book. Right? Oh, yes, uh, let me tell you about my time, you know, the, the grifter in chief. And who was Meadows before this? He was the guy who was the co founder of, or one of the founders of the so called Freedom Caucus in the House of Representatives, what I refer to as the Cokehead Caucus, the ones who are basically, you know, in deep with all these organizations that have been set up through the Coke Network. This, this uh, you know, group of billionaires that uh, doesn't quite exist exactly like the Coke Network, but you understand what I'm saying. And, and you know, they're taking all this money from these right-wing billionaires and FASA and Petro billionaires to, to just basically run a grift on the American people. I do think Americans are starting to wake up to this. This is what I talked about yesterday when I, when I said I think that we've got, you know, we're on the one of the things that we're watching happen is a tidal wave of progressivism washing over the country. The old is getting calcified and being washed away. And people are realizing this is just a friggin' grift. The entire GOP, ever since 1981, has been running a grift on the American people. And so, of course, they would have a professional, lifelong grifter, Donald Trump, as president. Of course! Of course, the head of the Freedom Caucus, the biggest grift in Congress, would be, you know, the guy who is number two to Trump and leading uh, an effort to commit treason against the United States, as uh, Congressman Perlmutter said this morning, Ed Perlmutter. I was just amazed to see a member of Congress, you know, played live on CNN saying treason. 